Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this font and also sent my name huh, with some lines and want to know how to do it. And I did I did the D. Doesn't look bad. But I thought it'd be easier to show the O and the F to get it closer to that font or that type of, it's not really, a, probably not a font. I've already broken the text apart. I've grouped this together. And I just drew, all these, drew these lines with end caps and that's really easy. Just take a two point line and just hold down the control button after you move it and make it perpendicular. And then make it whatever thickness you want. Let's say four. Let's go a little bit thicker for the video. And then once again, if you can't have, you want six, you can always type in six. You don't have to use one of Corel's numbers. And then we want to give it round end caps like this has. So we'll go, actually the best way now is go to Windows, Dockers, open up your property Dockers. And right here, if it doesn't come up, this is your pen tool. And there's your round caps. And that's all you have to do. And now it's got round caps. And then you just need to figure out your spacing. And, you know, you could do a couple of tests. Let's go 0.1. So I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it over. That's not enough. So let's go 0.2. So I'm backed up there. With nothing selected, I'm going to go 0.2 and move it over. That's maybe too much, but for the video, it'll be good enough. And uh, let's just get some open space here. Tell you what, let's change that. Let's make it, let's make it uh, 1 1.2, 0 0.15, or 0.15. Let's just move it over, hit the plus key. That's pretty good. And then just hit Control D a bunch of times until you get enough to cover your word. We'll go ahead and do them in red just so we can see it, but you need to group it together for this to work, so we'll go to group. And then just put it in your text, doesn't really matter where it is. I don't know if we can do both letters at one time, but we'll try. And we'll go to the intersect tool and see it only did the O. And it might not even have done the O. Nope, we're gonna have to do one letter at a time. So let's just put that back so what we need to do is select that letter and then select, hold down the shift and select that and then use the intersect tool. And now we can move that down and there's our font. And, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do the F2 and uh, just kind of show you. So grab the F and maybe it would have done them both if I would have not ungrouped them, but I was just doing one letter while ago. And there's your F and see it, it's got uh, the F's probably going to be quite a bit easier. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the lines and ungroup them. And then we're going to set the nudge factor on that, maybe that same point, 1.5. I would make the bottom outline the same and then just nudge one up and go and nudge the other one, just every other one up. And you could play around with that. That's kind of what they did there. And then on the top, just the same thing. Now, I can't imagine doing this for a whole alphabet of letters. And if you look there, it, if we're, we're gonna do both these lines at the same time. And you could, you know, you could do every other one, you could do every third one and then have the other one back. They did a little bit more, and let's just look at it closer. Whoever did it, did a good job. Let's see if these lines, and this is evidently a trace, but yeah, the lines are still together and uh, they have a different font. And then the same thing on the O. And maybe somebody will chime in here and know another way to do it. Um, or tomorrow I might think of another way. But just, you know, you'd probably want just to change a few of them. You know, go, you could go down or up with. Uh, the lines and go, you know, like I would probably go down with that one, go down with that one, go down with that one, just hit every other line. And like I said before, it is reacting to the top line because we, we did not break the curve apart. 
And that's pretty close. Uh, pretty good. Let's turn it to, well, let, let's actually make it for real here. Let's uh, do what they did with the black. Let's turn, let's make a black box. Let's put it to the back of page. And let's go ahead and turn these white. And we get a better, they, they use a little bit thinner lines than I did and they had a different text, but that's how I would do it. Now there might be, there might be another way and I'll think about it in the next couple, maybe tomorrow and, and do another one that would be quicker that you could do all the letters of the alphabet or all the letters of a name. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.